things that relates to this episode. Now, I will tell you about the pasta bridge. This is a creepy and super, super creepy sentence that you have ever heard. Looking pasta by bridge is awful. People usually make bridge. Use make bridge by by some blocks, but making bridge by pasta is so impossible to do that. But but with this video, you I will help you to make pasta to make a bridge. Now you have to take a notebook with that one. If you want to make a bridge, you have to. Ah. If you want to make it, you have to draw something that you like. For example, a square five by five, like this. Now, you have to take pasta, but don't take too delicious pasta. Just like uncooked pasta, like this one. For example, is now. Ah. Now you have to draw it. As sometimes you can draw it like this shape, and you have to take four. If you see this, you have to take four, four pieces of uncooked pasta because it has four sides. Now, when you have take all the four pieces of pasta, now you have to make it as like the shape of a trapezium. Now, when you make it as the shape of a trapezium already. Glue it. You can you can make all the with all the pasta like this. You you just you just make it around each corner. But you can use glue instead. Or there's three way to make a stick like this. Maybe you you can take a lot and a lot of piece of pasta to make a big one. Like this one, you take a lot and a lot of piece of pasta to to make a big stick of of a bridge. But this take a lot of of times. This is impossible for me to do that. Even scientists, each one need two hundred and twelve piece of pasta. That's impossible for me. No one could dare to do that. Or like a perfect plan, like this. This is the easy, the most easiest way. First, you take a stick about ab about twenty feet long, and take some pasta as the shape, the shape almost like this. But it has to be eight feet, I think. Now you roll it, roll. Roll a stick and put some water in there too. To that that will make you more easier to roll it. When you roll it as eight feet, stop and you and you take other pasta and roll it around to to make it more heavier. So it can make the bridge balance. Now a few. A few, um, a few days later, I've, I've finished a bridge like this. But it's impossible. It takes a lot of days for me. Like this. Like this. Oh yeah. Now, if you want to walk across it, it won't be easy. If you step one foot on it, it just break again. You have to use skateboard. I mean skates, shoes to walk on it, so it can balance you. Now back to the pasta. If you want to do this, you. But there's one thing you have to remember. 
if you make a shape of a trapezium already, you have to you have to make two. You need eight. Eight pieces. You have to make double of it. Two of it. Now the next step you have to draw a five by five square. By you have to use pasta to make the five by five square and make double of it again. Now you now you take glue and put the glue on one of it. Then put the others five by five pasta um, square on it. Now you you do it as the same as this trapezium. You trapezium trapezium. You glue you glue some glue under one. Then you put it on one side. Oh yeah. The others that's the same. Now after that there's something different. You have to make a square by pasta. Like this. Now you can put it on top of it. Uh, on top of it. So it will be a bridge. And two other six and you and you put it and you put it above the five by five square pasta. It will be a bridge. A small bridge. It look amazing. It's not magic. It's science. Now making a small making a, a small bridge like that. You can make a big bridge. With you you can make this as the pasta. Each one you have to make it eight feet long. Now just like the small one. Each each one is eight feet long. And once you make a big bridge, you have to make each one eight feet long, okay? And it, you just do the same as the small one. But it takes more time for with the short one if it compares. Now that all right, you can say all right all instead right. of now. Right. All right. Now you can now you know how to make a bridge by pasta. Now it that sentence sounds creepy, but it's fun to in real to do that in real life. But but you have to need a thousand and thousand pieces of uncooked pasta to do that. And I hope that one day you can make one big one. And that is something I can tell you about making pasta. Making great. Making rich by pasta. Thank you for listening. Good night.